Hello. Okay, we've gone through all of the graphs and the changes that can be made. Now I want to talk about uh, formula derivation. I've just borrowed some um, formulas from the Stage 2 or oh, Year 12 Physics South Australian Curriculum formula sheet. And uh, the key thing here is to remember that the maximum kinetic energy of an electron when it slams into a tungsten nucleus and stops transfers all of that kinetic energy to the maximum frequency x-ray. So the key formula associated with it is F max is equal to E delta V on H, which is the maximum frequency x-ray is equal to the charge in an electron times the change in voltage across the tube, or the potential difference across the tube, divided by Planck's constant. We need to be able to derive that formula. So remembering that you've got yourself an electric field and the electron accelerates across the field, um, it's accelerating must mean that it, it's experiencing a force um, and it's going to gain energy. So how do we get that energy? Well, um, you see here this borrowed from electricity and magnetism, work is equal to the charge times the change in voltage. There's a difference between Q and E in the two formulas given that when we're talking an X-ray tube, we're only talking about electrons. So that the E represents the charge on an electron, which is 1.6 by 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. We're not dealing with calculations here just yet though. This is a formula derivation. So W, work, is measured in joules. And there is work done on the electron as it accelerates across the gap. So what we can say is that the energy that the electron has as it crosses the gap is equal to the charge on an electron, which we'll now call E, and then delta V. Calling it E because it's an electron we're talking about, no other particle. The energy of a photon is this formula here. So E, again, will be measured in joules is equal to Planck's constant times the frequency of the photon you're going to get out of it. Now, in making the assumption that all of the energy, all of the kinetic energy of the electron is transferred to the photon itself, this E um, is going to equal the other E. So you can now smash these formulas together. The charge in an electron times the change in voltage will equal Planck's constant times the frequency, and that's going to be the F max of the x-ray. So then we can simply rearrange uh, this formula so that F max will equal the charge in an electron times the change in voltage divided by Planck's constant. 